Hello, friends, viewers, and subscribers. Um, I have a book today that I want to spotlight. I want to um, um, actually shine, you know, a, um, a big light, a beacon on this particular handbook. And um, I was just so grateful. It really made my day today. Um, I bought it on Amazon and it was delivered and, you know, immediately I'm like, oh, yay. I'm like, cannot wait to open this book and just cannot read, to, cannot wait to read each and every single page. Now, um, let me just, um, go over, uh, this is, book was actually, um, published in 2006 and let me go over some chapters in the book. I'm not going to be um, commentating very much. I have kind of a raspy throat. It's been raining for about six months um, on the eastern coast of America. So um, the, um, the least amount of talking that I have to do, the better. And many, uh, most, if not all, um, uh, you know, antinatalists um, believe in the right to die. Um, and this book was intended for senior citizens. I will um, say that up front. And um, our birth was... Um, something that we did not get to choose. Um, in fact, we were thrust into existence um, from, from no um, permission of our own. We were, uh, our lives were gambled with. And um, as a result, um, we were made to um, live our lives, endure sickness, illness, um, host of viruses and flus and, um, uncertainties. Um, I was watching TV yesterday and, um, uh, I think 38 cases of some, uh, new polio, um, related illness has struck children all across America. If those lives were not thrust into existence, um, they would not have suffered. They would never have gotten sick. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I just love this book and I really hope to, uh, expound on it in the future. But right now, I mean, I just wanted to, um, open up a few pages and, you know, introduce it to people. And uh, as, as most antinatalists on uh, right, right to, um, right to die advocates, um, they know about, um, Nibutal. And this gives um, a very detailed description and talks about, about the availability of the drug. which everybody should be able to purchase um, freely and at their own whim.
And I will say Mexico is a wonderful place. In fact, um, I have not been back to Tijuana in so many years. And I was absolutely spellbound um, with my trip to a t t or Tijuana. <laughs> yes, I'm, I was pronouncing it the um, American way, but it's Tijuana or Tijuana. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me... Let me linger on this sentence here because um, if I don't, people won't be able to read it because sometimes when I'm scanning and I'm filming, I forget that when it's published live that it actually needs um, to be displayed at a longer amount of time than um, one would think. <sighs> And antinatalism is a philosophy that, um, you know, promotes um, lack of suffering, lack of harm, and prevention of harm, prevention of suffering. And the only way that you can prevent suffering is not to bring another person, human being, into the world. And those of us who are um, here and who are watching this video did not have that luxury. In fact, um, we, it was a very unlucky proposition that we were thrust into existence because, um, you know, some people like to call it the miracle of birth. Well, it's no miracle at all because it is so commonplace. However, um, we were very unlucky because of all of the the sperm that, you know, tried to reach the egg, and we are the result of a fast swimmer, and so, you know, we, we could have been one of the lucky ones who were um, <laughs> ejaculated into, uh, you know, <laughs> a Kleenex or uh, on the sofa or in the back seat of a car. But we were not one of the lucky ones. In fact, the fact that we were placed into existence means um, that, you know, is a very sad proposition. And we have to either live or make decisions on our own um, um, to obtain peace. And like I said, this um, book was written for um, the end of life situations for um, senior citizens and the terminally ill. <laughs> I love the descriptions. I love this is so easy to read. Um, it, yeah, I mean, I just, oh. I would like to get through this book in about a week. I mean, I would like some, you know, quality time <laughs> um, to myself, some peace and quiet in order to read this book and, you know, get through with it. But um, I do hope that my page flipping has uh, created some interest and relief for certain ones who, you know, are definitely interested in, um, um, you know, obtaining peace. And, um, and everybody should have that freedom. Um, everybody, everybody should have the, have freedom of choice. And I believe in um, totally freedom of choice. I, I do not believe that birth should be thrust onto anybody. I am an abortion advocate. I am, um, a vasectomy advocate. And, um, uh, <laughs> I think I made a comment years ago on my, on my Facebook page. Um, and I said, the only thing that should be free in life is potable water, sterilizations, and birth control. 
And um, if people had utilized birth control in the past, um, you know, we would not be here and you would not be here reading this book or reading these pages that I'm flipping through. And I would not have had to spend, you know, $50 or whatever it was, um, you know, purchasing this book. I mean, believe me, I have um, some better, uh, some more pressing things to do, but I am very, very interested in um, medications and history and, um, you know, ongoing legislation and the politics regarding life and death. So, um, and I believe, I think most people, at least 50% people probably get, uh, cancer, um, cancer or heart disease is usually what kills people. Uh, but don't hold me, you know, yeah, I don't know statistics on that, but I do know um, cancer is extremely common. I mean, this, this book is just so chock full of, you know, pertinent information and alternatives and options. And, um, I, you know, I think, I think my viewers will be quite interested in its content. Maybe this should be one of those <laughs> books that, um, Amanda gives out to her con, her annual contest. Why am I an antinatalist? Now, I, I have to, I have to create my video. And, uh, Amanda, if you're watching, I have had uh, a video in mind for, for almost three months. And, um, the video involves a little bit of singing. And like I said earlier, I'm very hoarse. I mean, it may not come through on, um, I'm not speaking on this video, but I am, and I'm like stretching my voice, and it's, um, pretty much weather related, but yeah, my, I have a very quick video, um, to enter for Amanda's contest this year, and I'm just waiting for the perfect opportunity, and unfortunately, it literally has rained about every day, except maybe five days in six months. So it's been like, you know, quite depressing and life altering. And I was going to do my video outside. And as it, you know, as it is, um, on really good days, I like to be outside and, you know, not reading or composing videos. So I'm waiting for some good, some good weather and, um, to create my video. So this is um, an, an, an excellent work um, and it's very comprehensive. And um, for the people who like to be prepared, um, um, I can't think of the name right now, but those people who are oh, preppers, they're called doomsday preppers. Um, <laughs> there is going to be a doomsday in your life and in your family's life and in your children's life. And everybody wants to be prepared. Um, that's why we have um, uh, tools to replace a flat tire on our cars. Um, that is why we carry mosquito spray when we go out into the woods. It's all about preparation. And, um, you know, it's this is not impulsivity at all. This is about being prepared. So, um, we, we all have to be prepared for that doomsday. And um, your comments are welcome. Um, please subscribe to my channel. And if you'll scroll down, um, you know, a few videos, um, you will see um, my video from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, in the state capital. 
and it was a suicide prevention um, speak speech. And um, that is not, I do not advocate, you know, preventing somebody from releasing themselves from harm, misery, suffering, and, and the punishments that life dishes out, um, yields to everybody. So, um, I hope this was informative and this is a book I, well, I have heard about it briefly, but until, um, somebody actually posted the link of it, I had not done any research and I certainly, um, never thought about purchasing it. So I was real, really glad. Like I said, this is the highlight of my day. I mean, I am ecstatic. <laughs> um, this book is like orgasmic. And um, so I'm, I'm here to bring it to a wider audience. And um, all comments are welcome. And thank you for watching this far.